What's going on, Bookface? What's going on, Facebook? You got Courtney's here, and I'm making this video because I wanted to share some really important, I think, uh, social media tips for personal branding for your business. So, obviously, if you're a marketer, if you're in network marketing, I think these tips will really help you out. And the first tip, the first tip of the three tips I'm going to go over is um, is using one social media site to build it up as big as you can to learn it inside and out to get really good at it to basically become a master at it do that for one site and then use that one site to you know grow all your other networks so for instance maybe you have a huge following on Instagram now you can use Instagram to build your your Twitter and your Facebook and your YouTube or you know you it could be the same with Facebook or for me personally I have a really big following on Twitter I can use Twitter to build my following on YouTube and Google Plus and Facebook etc so the first tip is to really focus in on just using one social media site instead of you know, you know, going here and there with every site that you can think of and not getting you know many results. So, um, the second tip is called the halo effect, which is um, something that you know you want to use in your business for attraction marketing purposes, and it's when people assume good things or positive things about you. In your business and what you do um, because you're showing up in people's news feed over and over whether it's on Twitter or YouTube or if you have your own blog or if it's LinkedIn whatever wherever you're at on the internet and social media the key is to create this halo effect where people start assuming that you know you're you're a top leader in your industry you're a person of high value you can share quality content with them and help them succeed and I mean, obviously, it's just, you know, that's the type of perception and positioning that you want to have as a marketer on these social media sites. And then the, the third step, the third, um, the third key is you want to be top of mind when your ideal client or prospect has a problem. Because when you do that, you're going to be rich. And if you're, if you're the first person that comes to mind when your prospect, when your perfect prospect has a problem, you know, they're going to reach out to you. And the reason they reach out to you versus somebody else is because, you know, they find you on, they see you on Twitter every day, and then they friend you on Facebook, and then they see you on YouTube, and then they see you on your own blog, and then they find you on LinkedIn. And the the idea here is that if if your friend, if like if you're legitimately a friend with somebody on one social media site, the chances of them having more social sites, um, and you being friends with them on these other sites are really high. All you got to do is make that initial connection and then start, you know, bringing them over to all your other social networks. And I think a, uh, the last tip before I end this video, I think a really good tip is um, making videos. Videos allow you, you know, your perfect prospect to hear you, to see you, to get a feel for your personality and the type of emotion and passion you bring to the table every day. Um, and the cool thing is you can you can upload videos obviously to YouTube, you can embed them on your blog or your website, you can upload them to Google Plus, you can even um, upload them to Twitter using a, an app called Vine, which is a social media site on its own. Um, you can also obviously you know use Instagram and make videos on Facebook like this one my that I'm making myself. So the tip of the day is really to be consistent and congruent in all different social media sites to get that halo effect going where people where your perfect prospect starts thinking of you you know when they have a problem instead of somebody else and that's the key so i hope this helped if it did like and i'll talk soon peace out